from the perspective of the company being a separate legal entity, which is the way we typically think of the company as a bookkeeper, as we do data input, even if it's not a separate legal entity, a corporation, but rather a sole proprietorship, even in that case, we think of it as a separate entity for bookkeeping purposes. Whatever assets are in the company, therefore, we expect are for the use exclusively, in essence, of the company. That separation between the personal and the company is something that's difficult sometimes, especially for small businesses like a sole proprietorship. But the ideal is, of course, to have anything on the books as an asset for the company to be just the company's assets, assets to be used in the future in order to achieve the company goal of revenue generation. Revenue generation being a different goal than the personal goal. Personal goal, you, you want to live well, whatever that means. But that's why we separate for the company because on the on the business side, we have a we have we know what the objective is. It's to generate revenue. Now you might say, hey, what, we also want to make a product that everybody likes and we want people to like what we do and we, we're going to be fulfilled by it and all that. It's true. But from a bookkeeping standpoint, all that is manifest itself in revenue. If you do good stuff in a good free market capitalistic economy that appreciates people doing good work, then the side effect of that is revenue. That's a, that's the, the so that's what so that's basically the idea. Now, the assets, of course, are the things that we have not yet consumed to generate revenue. We're going to consume them possibly in the future to generate revenue. And then the flip side is liabilities and equity. Now, why are these two things the same or on the same side of the coin? Well, liabilities represent a third party that we owe money to, typically the bank for a loan that we took out or credit card, uh, for example. Also, accounts payable, uh, is which we'll talk about more later. So that means that there's claims to the assets of the company, like cash, for example, and other assets, equipment, and whatnot, by third parties, like the bank. So it's a flip side of the coin. The assets, what the company has, the liabilities.